Hey, welcome to another Tea Time Show with me, Mark Tillerson. Uh, today's show is uh, Google AdWords conversion tracking versus Google Analytics conversion tracking. Uh, a lot of confusion around this, and personally for me, uh, I've had a few arguments with a few people about this, but personally for me, I would strongly recommend that if you are running Google Shopping, Google Ads, Google Display Ads, anything like that, absolutely 100% you should be using the Google Ads conversion tracking uh, e-commerce tracking if you're an e-commerce store of course um, and I'm going to tell you why in this show in the next few minutes um, if you are running Google Ads or Google Shopping that kind of stuff uh, you want to know more about Google Analytics um, I would uh, recommend you subscribe right now there are more videos coming up on our channel about this and how to get the most from your data and improve the performance of your campaigns so let's take a look at the fundamental differences between uh, Google Ads tracking and Google Analytics tracking. Um, so they use, they're used for very different purposes, really. Uh, you may think that they just they both record a conversion for you, um, and they do. But how they do that and how they attribute that conversion is very, very different. So uh, I've created just this simple model. Um, we know that uh, typically with uh, purchases and leads, uh, you know, contact forms, conversions generally. Uh, some do happen literally, someone will uh, click and add, land on your site, and convert immediately. That does happen, but uh, more often than not, there are multiple clicks involved in that conversion cycle, and that's where uh, the tracking becomes a problem. So, in this model, we have our user uh, clicking a Google Shopping ad um, on Saturday. Uh, nothing happens on Sunday. On Monday, they come back to the site through an organic click, and then on Tuesday, they actually buy something. So our sale, our conversion, is £100, and it happens on Tuesday. Now, Google Ads, uh, fundamentally, this is something you definitely need to understand, is Google Ads attributes the sale to the day that the click happened, not the day when the sale happened. Sometimes that's the same day, you click on a Tuesday, you buy on a Tuesday, and that's fine, everything's wonderful in the world, no problem. But um, very often you will have spent your 50 pence on a click or a pound on a click on Saturday, but the conversion doesn't actually happen until Tuesday. So when you look at, uh, on Sunday, you look at Saturday's data, uh, we spent 500 pounds, how many sales did we get? You are gonna get sales on Sunday and Monday and Tuesday, uh, as a result of the clicks you paid for on Saturday. So there is a lag in Google Ads uh, performance data. Um, so if you are if you look at your search funnel, um, you can see that data and the, and the conversion cycle, and you can see how long that is for your campaigns. Um, and essentially, if, like many sites, it's a week or two weeks, then really you want to have a look at, at your kind of complete data set, which would have finished seven days or 14 days ago to see what the actual performance is. So that's the first thing to understand is that Google Ads attributes the uh, sale uh, or the conversion and the value of that conversion to the day that the last Google Ads click happened, okay? So we had a sale on Tuesday and Google Ads will report that we had, uh, that that click from Saturday uh, resulted in a 100 pounds conversion, okay? However, uh, so yeah, Google Ads tracking, so we've got one conversion on Saturday for £100, even though the sale occurred on Tuesday. However, if we look at Google Analytics tracking, it's the same journey. We got a Google Shopping click on Saturday, we got an organic click on Monday, and we got a direct click on Tuesday uh, when that user then purchased uh, the £100 uh, item. So the conversion happened then. Google Analytics will report this as a £100 conversion from organic as the source on Tuesday, because the sale happened on Tuesday even though the click happened on Monday. So very different from Google Ads. And you'll see here that Google Shopping, the Google Ad, gets no credit for this at all. In the standard model in most places in Google Analytics, it uses last non-direct click. So the last non-direct click in this example is organic, therefore Google Shopping, Google Ads gets no, uh, no credit for that whatsoever. Um, so last non-direct click, we got one conversion, happened on Wednesday, it was £100, and it came through organic. We know that actually there was a Google Ads click, but that's not relevant to Google Analytics last non-direct click attribution, so all of that credit gets applied to organic. So here is, in my opinion, 
the worst thing that you can possibly do. Import the Google Analytics goal. You've configured your Google Analytics e-commerce tracking and it's great and it works. And in, in Google Analytics, you can see your sales and where they're coming from. Last click attribution and uh, or non uh, last non-direct click attribution. Um, but if you import your Google Analytics goal into Google Ads, rather than setting up Google Ads e-commerce tracking natively, here's what happens. We got a shopping click on Saturday, on Monday we got an organic click, and on Tuesday we got a direct click. However, the big problem here is that Google Analytics, that goal only passes data to Google Ads when Google Ads is the last non-direct click. So in this example, because the last non-direct click is organic, and because Google Ads gets no credit for that, in your Google Ads account, there is no revenue. Zero conversions, zero revenue, nothing attributed to Google Ads at all. Okay, so if we go back to Google Ads, if you use Google Ads tracking, on Saturday, there was a click and it resulted in a £100 sale. If we look at an imported Google Analytics goal, then there is no sale, there is no conversion whatsoever. Literally nothing. And I have a problem with that because I want to know every search query, every click on a product ad, every click on an ad, every click on a display ad, I want to understand what value that is bringing. So for me, personally, I would absolutely 100% recommend that you use Google Ads tracking and then understand the relative performance between each of your keywords, each of your product ads, um, each of your display ads, your remarketing, view three conversions, all of that data, measure that in the context of other keywords and other ads and other products. Um, and some will perform better than others, of course, but at least you've got more data. So um, let's have a look at what that actually looks like so if you head into Google Analytics and look at conversions, you can look at the uh, attribution modeling report. And what I'm comparing here is last non-direct click versus the last Google Ads click. Um, so this is a site that actually has a very short uh, conversion funnel, actually. So there isn't a lot of multiple channels. There's not a lot of Google Ads to organic to conversion. So it doesn't have as much an impact. But you can see, looking over this period, that we have last non-direct click, according to Google Analytics, we've had 4,938 conversions and a conversion value of just over £200,000. Compared with the last Google Ads click, so this is more the model that uh, Google Ads tracking would use, we've had 5,500 conversions. So there are about 600 more conversions that have had Google Ads than maybe organic or maybe uh, email or any other channel. Um, those clicks have come, the last click has been uh, not Google Ads, um, but in this case we can see we've had about uh, 600 more conversions and actually 20, what's that, 26,000 pounds almost more revenue. So it's actually 11% more conversions according to the last Google Ads click. So I've seen an account just recently where this looked more like double. So a more complicated purchase and actually uh, there was was like 100% more conversions actually should have been attributed to Google Ads that were not. And this, uh, this account was actually using an imported Google Analytics goal so where does, what does that cause? So what happens there is uh, you look at individual keywords, there are no conversions, so you lower the bid. Or you look at a particular product, it's not converting very well, so you lower the bids. Actually, it is converting quite well, it's just not getting any credit. Worse still, you could be using target CPA strategy and letting Google Machine Learning learn what converts and what does not. Or you could be using target ROAS as a strategy for your e-commerce campaigns, which lets Google's machine learning learn what converts and what does not. But it and you are going to make the wrong decisions about which keywords and ads are working and adding value to your business and which are not. So I would strongly recommend you always use Google Ads tracking natively and look at uh, your Google Analytics data 
to understand uh, how that fits in the multi-channel world. So if you're using Google Ads tracking, look at your Google Ads data, find out what's working, what's not, as a, as a comparison with your other Google Ads clicks. But then if you want to look at bigger picture uh, and how your channels are performing uh, and, and collaborating together, you may find that actually you're getting Facebook ads clicks, which don't really convert, but actually there's Facebook ads, then that leads to search, which gets clicks on Google ads, and then there's an organic click, and then there's a conversion. So you can then understand that Facebook is adding some value, Google ads is adding some value, and organic is adding some value. But if Facebook wasn't there, it wouldn't have created the search, so Google Ads can't take all the credit, and if your organic listing wasn't there, then maybe that sale wouldn't have happened. So there's some attribution model. There are other videos on our channel, uh, and I'll put a link in the description for this, um, that explain more about the attribution modeling. But please, please, please always use Google Ads tracking. If you would like uh, an audit of your Google Ads account, then um, please contact us via tillison.co.uk and we'll take a look at that for you. If you'd like some one-to-one -one coaching on how to implement this or how to optimise your account, uh, we do that too. And we manage them, of course. So um, if you'd like to hire us, get in touch.